What's up, guys? So we just played this team from before, and we were 2-2 two and two for the day against this team. I've been playing them all day. Really fun games, because they're pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I got Broken Hill Mine, so I'm going to stick with my strategy of going... Um, of going Wraith on Broken Hill Mine. I don't know how it's going to pan out. I've never played bro this Broken Hill Mine strategy uh, against a good team. They do have a Griffin, so I could sneak. And then the same Tech Sergeant, Val, and Hank. We're going to see what I can do. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of go into a little bit of tryhard mode so I don't commentate quite as much. <laughs> You'll know why, because I want to I wanna see if I can win the five games in case we don't play again we might I'm gonna play more games after this so if we if I hit them again then I'll keep uploading them win or lose because they're good games all around I'll try to commentate though I played this strategy earlier against a random probably pub team I'm not 100% sure you really only know if they're together if you if you hear them talking or if well if you hear them kinda I don't know that, that's not even a good way of thinking about it but if you see them multiple times, the same people, it's usually a team that's playing together. So this was my strategy. I actually kind of screwed it up at the start. I was supposed to show tracks going through at the start. <clears throat> and then sneak through that secondary door. Now these are a really good team, so they might look at that door. And figure out where I am. So I might do a few more aggressive cuts to try to make something happen. Um, and get some distance, because that's the hardest thing on this map, is getting proper distance to uh, get up to stage 2. Once I'm at stage 2, I should be able to play pretty scrappy if I have to, which most likely I'll have to. So you can see this aggressive cut I'm going to try to make. We'll see, how, we'll see how it goes. Oh, they might have seen me. I might have been a little bit too quick. I think they saw me. Maybe not. No, they saw me. I'm almost sure of it, yeah. I gotta get out of here. I don't want to get domed yet. Especially at the relay. Alright, so it didn't quite work out. I was a little bit too aggressive with that cut. That's something that I haven't done yet. I'm just now practicing this route and seeing if it's better. So I guess they must have went through the door, not knowing which way they which way I went, and the trapper kind of stayed back. So now what I'm going to do is the trapper probably related to them, but I went to the bottom biome. So I'm going to do a quick cut back to the original biome and see if I can play some mind games again. Now, it is Griffin, so he's going to have sound spikes set up for sure. So I just heard the ding ding ding, if you guys heard that sound might have been a little bit too low for you guys. Uh, that means that I am, oh, that Griffin can see me, see where I am. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Now if I sneak, he shouldn't be able to see me, or unless I'm within 15 meters of one, I think is the distance. So I can kind of get a little bit of distance from them, but... I just want to get Evolve ready before we take our first fight. That's all I need, I need to get that, if I can. Most likely they're going to send Assault and Medic in here. If they do a 3-1 split and leave Trapper by himself, I could try to go on Trapper and see if I can get a quick down penalty. What I also might be able to do is they think that I'm... Oh, these right there, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say I might be able to sneak by him, but they have a feeling of where I am, I think. Maybe I hit a sound spike. I don't know where they're going actually. Looks like they're heading out. I wonder if they think that I'm out of this biome. I wonder if they thought, think that I snuck out. The mind games. I'm like mind gaming myself. If they think that I went that way though, I might be able to sneak out the top. 
I mean, I could take a fight. So even if it, even if I don't make it, yeah, I think I made it. I don't know. I don't even know what mind games I played there, but somehow it worked out in my favor. I must have hit a sound spike at some point when I was sneaking, and they saw that I was going that direction. Like I hit a sound spike twice, and it showed that direction, and then they went that way. And then when I snuck back, I must not have hit it or something. I don't know. I might go for a free evolve then, because I think I have. Oh my god. They somehow guessed correctly. All right. They didn't throw the dome. Oh, this stupid orbital. I hate that thing so much. I've got to mitigate now. That orbital was like half of my armor bar. Like, like the, the biggest part about that orbital is that it doesn't knock hunters away. So they can just pretty basically just dance around it and the monster can't commit anymore. It's like a... Like a 20 second... Peel for any, any hunter. Just stand near it. And I still have no idea how to deal with it. Alright, dome's down. I gotta try to get at least a little bit of distance. I'm not gonna get a ton, but... A little bit. To get an evolve off. It's not that bad. It's a bar and a half. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Although, they're going to catch up to me on this Evolve. We'll see how much damage they deal. Uh, that's Super Soldier. Alright. Just one more bar. If I can just get some armor. Just a little bit, I can make some stuff happen, I think. This is where I'm I'm best is at stage two on Wraith. I've won countless games on this. I might be able to juke Trapper. Actually that was Medic. Where is Trapper? He might be they might be doing a three one split. It's fine. I can take a little bit of poke, I just need a little bit more armor. I would actually prefer them doing a 3-1 split. I'll flight the three of them. They are, they're doing a 3-1 split. See, now I have no fear to like just poke them a little bit, and then back off. And that will wear on, mostly it'll wear on uh, Hank, because he can't be doing his own thing. He has to be in here with them. If, if they don't have a shield, then I can kill Medic. This was a good abduct. That's what makes uh, Wraith so good at this. Is the abducts. Now eventually the trapper might come in and dome me, and that's what I have to be worried about, is I always have to have my armor above half. And that's the goal. So as long as there's enough food in here, I should be able to do this for a while. That might be the issue that I'm gonna have. Get their position. Because I want to go on Hank. Alright, full armor. It's like a mini game just to get full armor right now. 
I'll take the dome. Alright. They threw down the orbital, you can hear it now. So I can wait until that's gone before I even try to fight. Nice, I got at least two of them with that. Alright, straight out Hank. Missed the orb, the uh, abduct. I don't know exactly where he went. Now I do. It's all about hit and runs, I think. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, that I knocked him out of the dome. That sucks. Kennels by himself. I should get this down penalty now. That should be a down penalty. Nice. Hank was still cloaked, but I got her. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's Rogue Vale, I forgot. Second down penalty. Actually, I can end the game here. There we go. Yeah, Wraith is very good at this. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.